Mexcon with Sean Gunn. How's it going? It's going really well. Do you want me to talk to you or talk to the camera? I don't care. You talk I sort of lo- I'll sort of drift back and forth. You'd be a drifter. Okay. Sean Gunn is a drifter. There we have it on camera for the internet. So, Sean, I have a bone to pick with you. The last time I saw you, you said Gilmore Girls was not happening. And then, like, literally hours after I saw you, you were like, hey, guess what? Gilmore Girls is a thing. Um, did, do, do you think that that was as successful as you guys hoped it would be or more? I think so. I mean, you know, for me, it's like I knew that the, it would have fans that would watch it because so many people love the show. But my question is, well, did you like it? Yeah, you went and saw it because you liked the show originally, but what did you think? And the feedback that I get from fans that come up to my table is very positive. Every now and then there are people that didn't like certain things, but I think people seem to like it a lot, so I'm very happy about that. I certainly felt good doing it, and like it was a positive experience for me all the way around. So I'm glad. And you know what? I think that the reason I gave you false information is because I knew for a long time that it was happening, right. but I was not allowed to say that it was happening. Right. So, yes, I lied to you, okay? Well, um, and I did it's okay. You did it. Specifically to be deceitful. Yes. Well, okay, I'll, I'll take that. I'm a bad person. You're, you're not a bad person. Um, well, yeah, we love you. Uh, Guardians 2 coming out. Yes, sir. Lots of great things. You get to be on this side of the camera this time as well. I'm on both sides, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, my, yeah, the role of Craglin, who was in the first movie, has a, a bit of an expanded role in the second movie. We've got a nice, um, you know, uh, uh, it, it's a nice sort of storyline surrounding Yandu and the Ravagers, of which Craglin's part of. I also play Rocket on set, so I do, I've been, I help out the production in that way. Uh, and uh, I think that it's really going to be an amazing and amazing movie. I can't wait to share with you. It looks amazing. Like, yeah. the, I, I always try not to watch too many trailers. Right. I think I watched the last one that you guys put out, and I said, I can't watch it anymore because I don't want to ruin it. Well, I know that my brother James, who wrote and directed the movie, um, tries really hard to make sure that not too much information is spoiled in the trailers. It's very, very important to him. So he's really on top of everything that goes into those trailers. And uh, while I think that the trailers are an accurate representation of how fun and funny and cool the movie is, and how how well shot it is and stuff like that, um, I think it does a good job of sort of evading a lot of exactly what's going on in the story. Right. So anyway, there you have it. It looks amazing. Thank you. Um, the last time we talked, I didn't get to talk with you about Super. Okay. Um, I know James wrote and directed it. It's actually one of my favorite films. You know, and that's, that's like a hit or miss with some folks. I appreciate that, but here's what I think we should do. I should say, if you haven't seen Super, you should check it out. I'm yeah. proud of it. It's an older movie of my brother's. But what we should talk about is the Velcro Experiment, because that comes out on Friday. Okay. So, so let's talk about that movie. Okay. So that's a horror movie that I did uh, a, a while back that my brother wrote and produced, um, directed by Greg McLean, who was a prequel right. to the um, And uh, it's about a bunch of people who work in an office building in Bogota, and they go into work one day, and the sides of the building close up, and a voice comes on saying that they need to uh, kill one another, or their heads will explode. So, if they uh, then have to start killing one another. It's pretty rad. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's nicely... Um, I don't know. It's a, it's a definitely a psychological thriller. Yeah, there's a there's a fair amount of violence for sure, but it's it's kind of a hedge in a lot of ways. But it's a really cool movie, and it will be in theaters everywhere on March 17th. Awesome. So go see that. Yes. Then go and see Guardians 2. Yes, on May 5th. Yes. Just see my movies, please. I see all of the things. I would like to keep acting. And so if you see my movies, I need to keep acting. You can do it. Awesome. Thank you, man. Thanks, man. Thanks.